Welcome to Happenings. Today's episode is dedicated to World Indigenous Peoples Day. Happenings is where we bring to you the news from the Happen Project, Health Advancement, Peer Partners, Empowerment Network. In this episode, I want to bring to you our visit with the Chenchu community, a tribal people, part of the original indigenous peoples of India, who lived primarily in the forests along the banks of the river Krishna in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. A few years ago, I had the good fortune of visiting with the Chenchu people in their own habitat Thanks to my good friend, Dr. Ram Kishan Dharmakari, an orthopedic surgeon who has worked with the Chenchu people for more than three decades. The picture you see is the one I took on a boat on the river Krishna of the banks surrounding the river Krishna. What I found truly amazing in my visit with the Chenchu people is in their own small hamlets, they lived in perfect harmony with nature. No pollution, Did not see any litter or garbage, no plastic bottles lying around. The forest was left as it is, pristine, in perfect harmony with nature. And along their simple, humble dwellings, was all of nature surrounding them. These people, they depend for their livelihood on the produce of the forest, taking only as much as they need for their immediate requirements and leaving behind enough to sustain and regenerate. The fish from the river is all they will take to sell in the local markets to buy whatever else they need to augment the produce of the forest for their living requirements. A humble people, but a people who have preserved all of their heritage and amazingly an incredible lore of the flora and the fauna of the forest. This is tiger country, but they do not fear the tiger. They respect the tiger. They do not hunt the tiger, and the tiger does not hurt them. They have learned how to live in perfect harmony with the tiger. Their own folklore is rich with knowledge about the fauna, the flora, including not just the nutritional value of what grows in the forest, but also the medicinal value of the various plants in the forest. Unfortunately, a lot of this learning is beginning to dissipate and go away. And I hope that all of us will find ways to preserve this wonderful heritage as something of value for not only us in our generation, but for generations to come. So here we are with the Chenchu community in Gudi Malkapur village in the Hanwal Mandal of Mahbub Nagar district in the state of Telangana. And you see, I am there sitting with Dr. Ram Kishan Dharmakari, orthopedic surgeon, principal of the Narayan Pet Government Medical College in Telangana and an honorary president of the Chenchu Lokam, along with Mr. Nirup Reddy, a respected senior advocate at the Supreme Court of India, Mr. Pasham Yadagiri, a senior most respected journalist in the state of Telangana, and also Dr. Prashant Venala, a public health specialist and one of the investigators of the Happen Project along with Ms. Gayatri Karavadi, senior manager at 
Suvarna Swasthya Research Center and the head of operations, along with her two volunteers, Mr. Kamal and Ms. Megha Sri. We'll see, see members of the community who are sitting under a majestic banyan tree, which is, I'm sure, more than a hundred years old. And this is considered an area of great value to the community of Chenchus who live in this village out here. I hope you enjoyed that song and for those of you who do not know Telugu, it is a song celebrating the heritage of the indigenous people of India, particularly the Chenchus, how they consider the forest to be their mother, how they derive their sustenance from their mother and nature, the respect and the veneration that they have for the forest. And over here you can see Ms. Gayatri Karavati senior manager and head of operations for Suvarna Swasya Research Center, along with her volunteers, Kamal and Mega Sri, helping to measure blood pressure, blood sugar, height, weight, and helping the community understand the basics of height, weight, blood pressure, and blood sugar as part of understanding health in the community. And here I am having a dialogue with the singers from the community and also members of the Chenchu community, talking about how one can use song as a medium for promoting health literacy and empowerment of people, understanding one health and one planet, preserving their own heritage and helping the entire world learn from some of their own wisdom and heritage that they have preserved over generations. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. So like Gandhi says, be the change that you want to see in the world. Join the Happen Project. Believe me, you don't need to be rich and powerful to make a difference. For after all, power is an illusion. Authority is a delusion. Responsibility is reality. Thank you.